is this cauliflower chili or garlic chili because <laughs> Welcome to my channel. So today I am making cauliflower chili. Yes, chili soup Spooky season and we all know spooky season equals Soupy season. This is a really quick recipe perfect for the fall. Honestly, I eat soup year-round so Perfect for me anytime you just throw it all in a crock pot leave it and then eat it I did a lot of pre-prep the day before because I don't know about you, but when I have that crock pot, I'm trying to have it on high for four hours and not low for eight hours. So I pre-prepped everything so I can just throw it all in right in the morning so it's ready by lunch. So I'm gonna go through everything that I pre-prepped the day before. All of my ingredients are from Trader Joe's, the one and only, my favorite place ever, but you can easily access these ingredients basically anywhere else. So the first thing is a head of cauliflower. I did a very, very rough chop on that because it'll break down a little in the crock pot. So I did a whole cauliflower head. The next thing that I prepped was the onion. I used a full white onion, super rough chop. We're not picky here. So I don't care if there's one little itty bitty piece or a huge piece, it's all going down the same way. The next thing that I prepped is garlic. Um, is this cauliflower chili or garlic chili? Because <laughs> it seems like they're pretty equivalent in quantity. Obviously you can put in as much or as little as you want. I want garlic in every single bite. So I'm gonna make sure it's in every single bite. And if you couldn't tell by my chopping skills, it is uh, rough. Let's just assume that the key important word of this video is rough rough chop. So I did that. Um, don't be scared by my pouring into the big bowl of the rest of the ingredients. I don't waste. I just did not film myself using my fingers to scoop out the rest out of the bowl. I didn't think that was necessary to show. The last thing I pre-prepped for this bowl is the jalapeno. I actually have a jalapeno plant in my backyard. So I grabbed one of those. I'm only using one this time. Again, you can use as much as you want. If I were making this whole pot of chili for myself, I probably would have added two or three jalapenos, but because I'm feeding my family also, I need to bring it down for their spice level. And I slid one in there. I'm not gonna tell them I put one in there, but there's one in there. Also, um, enjoy this clip of my fat hands scooping it out into the bowl. So the next things I got together are the beans. I used a can of kidney beans and a can of black beans. So I'm low-key a liar because I said everything's from Trader Joe's. I realized I did not get the black beans at Trader Joe's. I forgot them. So this is great value brand. Like I said, you can get all of this stuff from anywhere. So easy peasy. For both of these cans of beans, I took them out, rinsed them, and then put them into a separate bowl so they're already prepped. Pro tip, I don't know if this is a tip, it is for me. Make sure you rinse your beans. I don't know if you knew this, but you're supposed to rinse your beans. I did not know this until about a year ago. I was eating grainy, dirty beans for years and no one said anything to me. And I always wondered why they molded so fast. And it's because all the liquid, dirty, stuff was sitting in the bowl of beans. So now you know, and if you didn't, rinse your beans off. Next comes the sauce. So you are going to put in two 15 ounce cans of tomato sauce. Honestly, you can use tomato sauce, tomato puree, whatever your heart desires. It's really not that big of a deal. After that, you're gonna add a half a cup of chicken broth. If you wanted to make this whole thing vegan, at this point, all you would need to do is use vegetable broth. I have chicken broth on hand, so that's what I'm using today, but that's always an option if you want a vegan chili. So the last things I'm gonna add are the seasonings. You'll do this last when you're putting everything in the crock pot. So I am using some chili flakes, half a teaspoon of that, two tablespoons of chili powder, a teaspoon of sea salt, and a half a teaspoon of ground pepper. After I pre-prepped all of that, I just put lids on everything and I put them in the fridge or I put the seasonings in the pantry and waited until the next morning to put it in the crock pot. Good morning. 
Today's the day. We're making the cauliflower chili. It is like seven in the morning, so. Tired, just woke up. First thing I'm gonna do, put it in the crock pot, dump it, leave it, and then eat it. Um, first things first, let me make my coffee before I dump everything in. Be right back. Gloria Jeans. If you know, you know. Oh my God, hold on. So, enjoy the glare on my glasses while I give you an explanation for something. So, before you ask or think that I'm the most disgusting person ever and that I have like goblin zombie hands, let me explain. Um, I helped my little sister dye her hair last night. And honey, it was an experience, I'll tell you that. <laughs> So that's why my fingernails look so wretched. But luckily I don't leave the house, so it'll be fine. You should have seen my feet, honestly. You should have seen them because I was like in the shower trying to help her rinse it out. Story time. You know what to remind me of? If you know, you know. Um, in the Drake and Josh episode, when Drake flings that potato flinger at Josh and then Josh drops the weights on his foot and then he breaks his foot. That is initially what my foot looked like and my feet are pretty fat so the sizing was already pretty comparable. <laughs> ah. Okay let's get started. Pro tip Get slow cooker liners. You will not regret it. It makes the cleanup so much easier. I will never not use these ever again. So I am actually adding one more thing this morning. Completely optional, basically just like everything else is. I just had some leftover potatoes in my pantry. So I'm just gonna throw them in there. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, this will break down and it'll be a lot easier to scoop. So after you put everything together, just go ahead, put that lid on and turn it on high, which I already did. See you for an update in a few hours. Here's an update. It has been three hours on high. There she is. Yum, ooh, look at my Mickey pants. Oh my God, in my stomach. Look at my Mickey pants. <laughs> and then you'll come back to some delicious cauliflower or garlic chili. And there you have it. Now you know how to make the cauliflower chili. That is my fave soup ever. Thank you so much for watching my video. I cannot wait to come out with more content for you. Please subscribe so you can stay up to date with it. And be sure to follow my Trader Joe's Instagram account. It is my baby, my pride and joy. Yes, I am outside. Don't worry about it. Have a great week.